how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I'm having a great day. It's been a lot going on. Well, thank you for watching Extreme Foolishness TV. I really appreciate you guys watching. We're growing. So I really, really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. Today, I'll be talking about an NFL player who got some PPP loan money. And he's now locked up for fraud. Well, the Department of Justice has arrested about more than 50 folks who fraudulently obtained PPP loans. And I know you guys have probably heard about a lot of people getting that PPP money, which is pretty much, uh, some of them are forgivable loans that was meant for business owners to pay employees and for use, to be used for business related expenses as a result of the pandemic one of which is payroll rent office supplies and all that stuff but some people are out there getting money and using it for something else one of those individuals that has been arrested is josh bellamy i want to go a little bit about the career of josh bellamy because this guy is all about Josh Bellamy used to play in the NFL for the New York Jets. That was his last team that he paid for. He got about $1.2 million in loans, PPP money from the government. His company's name is, you would not believe it, Drip Entertainment. I wonder what kind of entertainment he's doing, but he calls it Drip. Drip? What could he be doing? Is that a music uh, entertainment company? Or, I don't know. Anyway, that's his entertainment company. His company is called Drip Entertainment. He's 31 years old. His name is Josh Bellamy. Anyway, he played for the New York Jets as a wide receiver. And just like I said, this guy's a bomb. Before, when he started his career, he signed with the Kansas City Chiefs as an undrafted free agent. First of all, you know you're a bomb if you get undrafted. Okay, that's fine. He probably wasn't drafted because he sucks. That is the reason why he most likely didn't get drafted. If you can ball, if you got game, you will get drafted for the most part. Anyway, he was released uh, from the roster by the Kansas City Chiefs after he got drafted. Again, I'm sure he sucked. That's why he got released. So they give him another chance. He got signed to the practice squad. And after he gets signed to the practice squad, they let him go. Okay. He was, afterwards, he got signed with the Chargers, the San Diego Chargers, again, to their practice squad. So this guy gets, keep getting signed to practice squads. The Chargers released him from the practice squad. <laughs> you know you gotta suck, gotta be a bomb to get released from a practice squad. I'm not talking about the main team. He gets released from the practice squad. That means you're that bad, you're that much trash. They don't even need you to practice. I'm sure I can probably make a practice squad and maybe throw the ball around and that kind of stuff. Well, this guy sucked. Okay, so he gets released from the practice squad of the Chargers. I think uh, he found another gig. He gets signed with uh, the then Washington Redskins. I know they've changed the name now, but at the time, he gets signed to their practice squad again. And the Redskins gave him a shot. He got to the main roster. He was released five months later. You know, it's like, what the heck is going on with this guy? Same thing with the Bears. He got released. He, he signed a $1.9 million contract with the Bears and he got released. So this guy cannot even stay with a team for at least a year. In 2019, he signed a two-year $5 million contract with the Jets and he was placed in uh, the reserves because of his injuries. But the thing about it is that he only had two catches the entire season. I'm like, how the heck do you hurt your shoulder 
with only two catches. Like, what are you doing? You must be lifting something else other than catching balls on the field because you only got two catches, but you hurt your shoulders. Like, this guy is trash. Anyway, you can tell that obviously he doesn't have his stuff together. He doesn't, he's probably not disciplined. He's probably a loser. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the PPP money, the loan. He got about $1.2 million in loans, but how he spends it is kind of where well, you know he's stupid. He spent $63,000 in a casino in Florida. Talk about stupid. He spent another $104,000 buying like luxury items like, you know, I'm, pro I'm sure it was about like Gucci, Dior, and all this fancy stuff. I'm sure he probably got a Rolex watch, bought a luxury car. He probably even made it rain in the strip club. So, you know, you're going to defraud the government, get PPP money they're supposed to use for your employees. We're well, going to spend it on Gucci, Dior, on some crap in the casino. He was probably gambling off in the casino, probably spent it in the strip clubs. It's just, it just lets you know how stupid this guy is. And the sad part is that the NFL money he made is probably gone. He's probably broke. I'm sure he's blown through all that NFL money. I'm sure he's, he's made at least one to three million dollars playing in the NFL, even though he sucked. And you know, which is why, like, I think about 75% of pro athletes go broke within five years after retirement. You see why? This is how they spend their money. You know, it doesn't take a CPA or an accountant to figure that you're gonna go broke, blowing 60 something dollars in a casino and spending about 100 grand plus on Gucci and all that crap, strip clubs, you're gonna blow through that money quick. That's why a lot of them go broke. This is some extreme foolishness right here, family. This is extreme foolishness. You defraud the government in the first place. Now you now use that money to go buy Gucci and all that crap. Former NFL player, I think they hit up the Jets for comments, but the Jets said, hey, he's no longer signed with us. And I think his NFL career is probably over. I just don't see another team wanting to deal with this guy. He's probably going to go to jail or have a felony. Who knows whatever happens with his criminal case. He's been arrested. So, you know, his NFL career is probably over. Not that he had a good career anyway. So he probably would not have had a good NFL career. The sad part is that he may have been a talented guy. Maybe he just didn't have the discipline, the work ethic to succeed in a very, very competitive environment like the National Football League. You need a lot of discipline. It's more than just having talent. Talent alone can only get you so far. You're gonna have the discipline, the work ethic, and the commitment to want to succeed. So this guy is a bomb, extremely foolish to first of all defraud the government and on top of that use their money on some crap. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the comments. Do you think that it's extremely foolish to spend that money on Gucci, Dior, Casino? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Remember, subscribe, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to hit the bell. Let me know in the comments again. This, this guy is extremely foolish. You know where, I'm, where I stand. He's extremely foolish. Anyway, Ekans Doherty here, Mr. Make Him Pay. Remember, say no to extreme foolishness.